Right. Um, when oxygen is not present, pyruvate undergoes a process called fermentation. Pyruvate uh, is, is the breakdown in glycolysis, um, and it requires pyruvate to enter the mitochondrial mitochondria in order to be fully oxidized by the Krebs cycle. Glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm, and it requires no oxygen. Pyruvate enters the mitochondria, broken down. Um, it's broken down to this this compound, which I'm going to show you, uh, and it enters the Krebs cycle, producing uh, additional ATP. And I want to show you here, um, this here actually. Um, if I show this to you, um, just make sure it's in focus. Is it that one? Or is it, it might be this one, I don't know. Or is it this one? Anyway, um, just want to clarify some things for you here. So, um, yeah, that, that's what I, I just wanted to show you. You know, the pyruvate enters mitochondria, broken down to this compound here. Uh, this co this uh, A C E T Y L coenzyme A, um, I, and I just wanted to show you that actually. Thank you for that. Thanks. Yeah. So um, the pyro pyruvate uh, oxidation takes place in the uh, matrix of the mitochondria in only in eukaryotes. Uh, so this applies only to eukaryotes. Uh, it enters this. I'm going to mention some initials here, actually. It enters the CAC, which is a citric acid cycle, which I'm sure you're familiar with, or the Krebs cycle, uh, to produce more ATP. Um, so under aerobic, under, under aer aerobic conditions, pyruvate enters the Krebs cycle, citric acid cycle, or the tricar tricarboxylic acid cycle and the tricarboxy lick acid cycle is its initials are TAC and the citric acid cycles initials are CAC so I thought I'd just give you a bit more information some more facts um the matrix of the mitochondria is where the citric acid cycle takes place so it takes place here in the matrix of the mitochondria it's an important step in cellular respiration which produces energy and the energy molecule ATP uh, for every NADH and FADH produced. So, uh, and the ATP molecule is generated in oxidative phosphorylation. So ADP becomes ATP. Um, so I just want to show you something here as well. Um, so if you let me, it's very kind of you. Um, right. Um, see, ATP is generated, I'll get it in focus, ATP is generated in oxidative phosphorylation. Um, so, yeah, and it's my right, it's P-H-O-S-P-H-O-R-Y-Lation, L-A-T-I-O-N. And as, he said, as I said, the AT, ADP becomes ATP. So I just thought I'd show that to you. Thank you for that. Thanks, is it? that way around I'm not sure okay, thank you Thanks. yeah so I thought I just put you in the picture there so um, NA when a NADH is um, when a NADH is produced ATP is is produced uh, um, uh, so yeah and, and the glycolysis yields small amounts of energy of, of uh, so it's, it's, it yields small amounts of the uh, of, of ATP um, and glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasms um, and as you know requires no oxygen and it's actually it's not just only in the cytoplasm but it's in the C-Y-T-O-S um, O-L I think is it I'll just have a little look um, so we try. Um, yes C-Y-T-O S O L. That's um, it's in the cytoplasm, and and that it's only in the glycolysis um, when there's um, when it requires no oxygen. Um, yeah. So and it's uh, it's 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 aqueous actually. I'll just 
show you this. I spelled it actually for you here. It's aquaceous. It's um, it's in the aquaceous part of the, uh, I think the cytoplasm or the cytosol, and that that's aquaceous, and it's uh, in, it's watery, uh, liquidy in contrast to the matrix of the mitochondria, which I think is more uh, viscous. So it, it, I know in some contexts it means like treacle, but it's sort of it's a it's the opposite. It's the opposite of, in contrast to watery, it's it's drier. I think it might be dry. I'm not sure, but it might be drier. It's not. So that, that, that the cytosol and the cytoplasm are the liquid parts and the matrix is not the liquid part, maybe. Uh, so yes, I, I thought I... Right, so in humans, um, aerobic conditions, aerobic conditions, so it's A-E-R-A-O-B-I-C conditions produce pyruvate. And, anaerobic that's without oxygen produce lactate so um and um and then you see the the under normal sort of when i say under normal aerobic conditions pyruvate is converted to uh a c e t y l coenzyme a molecule now this process is called oxidative decarboxylation and if i just show you here um this um the um pyruvate is is broken down sorry it's getting in view for you um in focus the pyruvate is broken down to this compound here this c23 h38 n7 o17 p3 and s and it's it's broken down to the the acetyl coenzyme a and um, so that's what it's broken down into. And as I as I already mentioned, that the ATP is generated. Did I always oh, mention that one? Sorry. Yeah, the pyruvate um, is is broken down or converted in a process called oxidative decarboxylation. Um, and uh, you know, it goes from the pyruvate to the um, this here, this ACETYL coenzyme A. And it's decarboxylation. So, so yeah, L A L A T I O N. Um, yeah. So I, I just thought if I get it in focus, hopefully it's turn it around. I don't know. Right. So yes. Yeah, so I I just thought I'd mention that. Um, yeah. So um, so the, yeah, the 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 pyruvate enters the mitochondria and it's broken down to the A C E T Y L coenzyme A. Um, and enters the Krebs cycle, pr producing additional ATP. Um, and this, this ACETYL coenzyme A is produced in the second step of aerobic respiration after glycolysis uh, and carries carbon atoms of, of the ACETYL TYL group to the um, TCA cycle to be oxidized for energy production or the CAC, if you want citric acid cycle, or, or the Krebs cycle, they, they all mean the same thing. Um, yeah, so um, I just thought I'd mention that. Now, I mentioned the other time, the other day I mentioned, um, I, I mentioned about the coenzyme A definition, and I just wanted to sh tell you what it was. The so coenzyme A is a non-protein chemical compound where it requires the en enzyme, uh, requires the activity of the enzyme or the catalyst. So yeah, it's it's co the cofactor is the same as coenzyme A, I think something like that. Yeah, uh, getting on, and it's a non-protein chemical compound required in, um, for enzyme activity. So yeah, I thought I'd just mention that. Um, so yeah, and so in the in the absence of oxygen, pyruvate is converted to lactate. Uh, in the presence of oxygen. Pyruvate is converted to ACETYL. Uh, the initials are COA, so the small, big C, small O, and big A, um, and and then uh, enters the citric acid cycle. Um, more ATP is formed from the breakdown of glucose when oxygen is present. So you know, so uh, pyruvic acid um, is made from glycolysis. Sorry, it's made from glucose through glycolysis. Yes, yeah, so it's made from glucose through glycolysis, which is the first pathway, wasn't it, that was uh, in cellular respiration. Um, yeah, so as we know, pyruvic acid, 
pyruvic acid without oxygen, without the presence of oxygen, forms lactic acid. Um, so yeah, and and to the for the pyruvate to be converted to the the ACE TYL CON COA, um, the um, so in order for it to be converted, the pyruvate molecules what loses one carbon atom with the release of carbon dioxide. So um, yeah, so pyruvate oxidation converts pyruvate, which is a three carbon molecule, into ACE TYL, TYL coenzyme A or something, and it, it, it's reduced to, to to two carbon to a two carbon molecule. So it goes from three to two, um, attached to a coenzyme A, 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 a something along those lines. Um, yeah. So because uh, as we know that for the pyruvate to become ACE TYL coenzyme A, it undergo it undergoes several changes. So um, which I which I've already mentioned, um, and the um, the the final stage of the um, Krebs cycle, not the Krebs cycle, the cellular respiration is the electron transport, uh, an oxidative phosphorylation, phosphorylation, and I think um, the NADH um, moves to the electron tra transport to be, and it's converted to ATP. So this NADH is converted to ATP. Um, yeah, so, um, and then you, you've got the, you've got the Krebs cycle, which is the second stage of cellular, resp cellular respiration. And the electrons are carried from the Krebs cycle to the electron transport. Um, they're, 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 they're carried, uh, and the, this NADH and FADH squared, um, sort of move from the Krebs cycle to the electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation. Um, and the inner membrane of the mitochondria, I just thought, I, you know, the inner membrane of the mitochondria is, is, is this, uh, is this word here, criste, is it cristae, cristae? That's sort of like Latin, is it, I don't know, Latin ending word, A-E? I don't know, no. But C-R-I-S-T-A-E. So that's, that's, um, that's that that's that but i want to also show you the uh glucose um compound here is it this way around i'm not sure i'll just do it right so the the glucose compound um is is c6 h12 o6 and um and then of course you, you i've got pyruvate compound here and that's c3 H3O3, and um, I've also it's written in, in another way as well. There, it's um, yeah. So that's C H C H three C O C double O, and then the, 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 those three O's are the oxygen. They represent oxygen um, on your periodic table, and then that's minus because pyruvic acid has four hydrogen atoms as opposed to three that the pyruvate has. So the pyruvate on its own is three, 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 CHO, three, three, three. And the pyruvic acid is three atoms of carbon, four of hydrogen, and three of oxygen. So I just thought I'd show you that. Okay. In focus, I don't know. Good. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Um, so, um, and then... Um, I just want to mention some other things here. The um, cellular respiration is a set of metabolic reactions and processes that take place in, the, in cells of organisms to convert biochemical energy from nutrients into ATP. So it's into ATP, this, this, um, this one again, and then releases waste products. Um, so, you know... Um, Catabolism, cat catabolic is, is, is breaking down large molecules into smaller ones, and anabolic uh, and is the other way around. It's building, it's, it's, it's not breaking down, it's building up. I think it's something like that. But cat catabolic is um, large molecules broken down into, into smaller ones. 
I just thought I'd mention that to you. Um, yeah. And then um, I just want to mention some other things, actually. That, um, um, so f fermentation is the process by which yeast um, converts glucose to carbon, di to carbon dioxide and ethanol, um, which is a type of alcohol. And this happens without oxygen. So glucose and pyruvate are converted to ethanol and carbon, di ethanol and carbon dioxide. Um, so yeah, so plants and yeast cells, the glucose is converted to um, ethanol, which is a type of alcohol, and carbon, di carbon dioxide. And when there's no oxygen present or available, pyruvate undergoes ferment fermentation in the, in the cytoplasm. As you know, the, the Krebs cycle is um, it stipulates oxygen only or the citric acid cycle. Yeah, so, and um, another interesting fact with, with aerobic respiration and, and anaerobic respiration is 38 ATPs with uh, a single molecule of glucose. Now that is in aerobic respiration. So 38 ATPs with uh, one single molecule of glucose now, in anaerobic respiration, in contrast, it's two ATPs, uh, so it's number, so it's two uh, um, ATPs with a single molecule of glucose. So it's much less um, ATP uh, in anaerobic as, as opposed to aerobic. So I just thought I'd mention that. Um, so yes, yeah, so uh, just to recap, glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm, requires no oxygen, pyruvate enters the mitochondria. Broken down, it's broken down to, to A C E T Y L coenzyme A, um, and then coenzyme this this A C this thing A C E T Y L coenzyme A, A enters the Krebs cycle, producing additional ATP. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd I'd mention mention that. Um, yeah, and so yeah, so the the, the last stage of cellular respiration. Uh, is the electron transport and oxidative phosphor phosphorylation. This occurs in the inner membrane of the mitochondria and accounts for almost 90% of the ATP generated by respiration. So, um, so the first stage is, is glycolysis in the cytoplasm. Then you get the Krebs cycle, which is the matrix of the mitochondria. Mit mitochondria. Um, and then you get the electrons carried by NADH and FADH squared and the electron tra transport chain and oxidative phosphor phosphorylation. Um, so the, the inner membrane of the mitochondria. Um, so, yes, um, I think that's I think I've um, mentioned everything now. Um,